humans. Humans are a marvelous curiosity. Some are terribly evil. But there have been different kinds of evil. You have the totally malice kind of evil. But you know that something is bad. But you still do it. And you have the kind of evil that you'll be, or you, if you not use your mind and follow blindly orders, and follow blindly the status quo of the media system, and all the others, instead of thinking for yourself, figuring something out for yourself. The second one, the majority of humanity is the guilty of them. They're thinking out of their box. Humans are a hypocritical species. All nations sneer on each other on this earth. No, in some will run away. Alright. This may be true that some be less evil than others. They don't all play a part in the evil and refuse to see their own evils. They make excuses for it. Traditions, beliefs and habits. They are being just what they are being in reality. Some are evil, some are good, and they are being always good, or evil, or in other words. No matter if it be accepted by a group of humans, of homide, actually, or what humans think about it. You have to watch any form of injustice or evil, always also from of the position of the victim and not from the position of the victimizer. Something humans all so much get. I've once done it by people of another color of their own. They have done it by women of their own species, way people with one another sexual privilege or sexual, sexual tastes. Humans are a marvelous curiosity. When they're on the very, very best, they're the kind of a low grave and nickel-plated angel. When they're on the worst, they've been unspeakable, unbelievable, unforgivable, and unimaginable. But where Lauren holds their sarcasm, it seems to me. Humans call themselves always the most noblest and wise work of nature or God. <laughs> By what that means, actually. <laughs> because. Note their history. It's a history of assassinating others for power struggles. But today they do it themselves as well. They use it now different words than they are maybe used in the past, but they all play the pay game. They let others pay game. They are playing always, always the slave master mentality game. But because they don't want to lose something, what in the first place not belong to them. The slave masters have done it, they want to have something. In their time, they not want to give so much back to their slaves. Not that they have to suffer, because in their mindset, they do nothing wrong, because they are used to the mindset of the oppressor. And that's the same mindset that creates all the chaos on the planet. Because black people have, not, have to act to get respect from the slave master uh, elitists, supremacists. Who have respect like them, act like them, walk like them, dress like them. 
And not looking around the world. Not looking what your actions actually do. No. You also make it always even more hard for the next generation to survive. To destroy the rainforest. Destroy species diversity on this planet. And create uh, a many problems on this planet. Where they refuse to see the errors from. Because it's not good for their so-called image. Humans are a marvelous curiosity. Cleaning the shit up from other humans is not stewardship, humans. Even a worm is more of a steward of nature than you ever will be. Why? I saw who told you. Humans can live without most nothing. If we dis dismembered most of other species that now live on this planet, we will not survive. We have killed too much of the architects, actually. And we drive many more in extinction. Or they are actually. The, the great whales, the sharks, rhinos, elephants. All architects of this planet. Elephants, they spread a lot of seeds around the country. They put up the ground and actually do the kind of harvesting of the national world. All living beings, in simple disenfranchised groups, inserted one thing any living being being the mount. The rather come one clearness of mind of humanity. The illusion have to break away. Humans are also one very arrogant species and also some very territorial species. They've been also ready to put the most baddest traits of their kind onto other animals. They despise anybody that claim that they be more moral than humans. The two-legged one, the only one that treats his fellows like slaves. The only species that injects their own kind with age or with other diseases to get uh, some free from uh, some felony charge. The only one that go into other nations and there play uh, their dirty little games. They break the laws of the nation without regard for anything. The only one that destroy and destroy because they can. And also claim to be the most moral of all beings. It would be so smart, humans. Or I to say, you. Then it becomes really interesting to think about. Can we not? Instead that we dominate like dictators, slave masters and shatanists to the national world. Real, like uh, intelligent, decent organisms. Human beings, they act like parasites. Just like in Final Fantasy VII. They act like the Unova. They suck all the life out of the planet. And if, after, if they have destroyed the planet by sucking all his life sources, they want to go to another planet and do the same. Humans <laughs> awake. You don't can choose a pig to wits and how to be kind. You be kind around the table to all innocent beings. I have nothing harm to ever in your life. For you in a violent hypocrite. 
you have no right to complain when somebody does not respect your life to ask for respect yourself. Because that's the <laughs> contradiction by most oppressors. The KKK also say that, that they have the right to um, exploit people with another color. Just like the sexists believe that. Just like the speciesists believe that they have the right to exploit, dominate and exterminate other animals. Awaken humanity from your so-called prolific dreams. You are a miserable interpretation. <laughs> Of what I've had to say, a miserable creature. In Hendrik, the fourth song, he beheaded uh, many people and burned their eyes out with iron hooks. In the time of the young. Uh, Richard the first time. He uh, burned a couple of Jews and put them in a tower for entertainment. In the time of the great prince Vladimir uh, uh, Vlad Tapus Dracula, he speaks something like 30 and uh, 40 uh, for entertainment, um, torture them before, and therefore he was uh, put in prison by the Ottomans, by the Turkeys, by the Ottoman Emperor. I have murdered a lot of his family members. You have also there learned the nice and friendly practice of torture of uh, speech in people alive, put them on a spit and let them die slowly and then look to his victims and see their suffering. Hmm. Humans, in the time of you, in the time of the Roman Empire, but you also think it was so nice empire, you aware that the nice empire, if you, if they think you could be crazy, by their standards, they put one metal object and force it between your face, between your skull, to free you from the ghosts in your mind. And not call anybody who does not speak their language, barbarians, and assassinate them. Also, there are a very good, glorious, glorious arena. The column stay Coliseum. The fitness theater. Where all the people stay together in one big stadium where they put some people in the arena and they look to how these people been murdered and beaten. And how animals be fighting to each other, animals that be bad treated, they've been hunging, hunger, it's with the lines that have sometimes get days now full before they go to the arena, so they become very hunger. And then these bloody monsters want to see how the people in the arena get eaten alive, or how some guy Cut the legs of this of this fellow man only for the entertainment of us of some empire or wrong dictator or how we want to call him. Humans <laughs> you are marvelous. You are also so hypocritical. You are so lovable. In the time of the Chinese Emperor you know the Chinese wall? There are legends that 
any for any meter of this bridge of this wall one person have died and also the Chinese buried some of um, their villagers or people or some, uh, sometimes the family members also in their stone buildings how oh, you wasn't know why they do this because they believe the spirits of the people that been buried alive protect the building what a great idea is it not <laughs> humans are <laughs> so weird species humans <laughs> I can call for many countries something so extremely terrible. All humans have also uh, carried in the atrocity of atrocities by my by my knowledge that are called war. No matter what you call it a, lit a religion's war, or you call it a blood trash war, or you call it a holy war, or you call it a civil war, or how <laughs> we want to call it. Any of you humans of in one time or another participate in this atrocity of atrocities that may only comment by the two black people. Not the other ends. They don't participate in brutal mass organized crime like humans do in all the ages. Beheading to bring fear in the enemy's hearts. Slavery. Even if they are abolished in most of the so called civil world, we have still slavery in their countries. And there is not even in whole history be so much slavery. In this time, can it be maybe that when you want to destroy slavery, you have to stop it by as a wood. And most slavery st uh, historians have uh, already figured out that the origin of human slavery most likely started in the first societies that first have uh, begin animal slavery and turn other animals into stock profit property inanimate objects things robots machines because if you then look fatter then you can also make rationalizations to oppress others so if you want to stop the cancer by food we have to extend some simple decency and compassion to all innocent living beings and nature in its beauty. Yes, I will not deny that in nature also be some horrible things. With many of them, you can also put back to the root of it all. If you say the nobles that kill sometimes or about chimpanzees that kill actually sometimes but not. Uh, and you can say that they have learned it from human tribes that then have learned from the Western people. This kind of barbarity. And maybe if we stop the cancer by the roots, anything will go back to how it was. Before humans take anything away from them, before humans steal the rainforest from the animals and start the war on the animal kingdom i'm not well we sit and not saying something to oppose and see how this will i will oppose it i will say something about it you must be listened humans without most other species on this planet you not can survive without bees and other pollinators 
on this planet. No fruit will grow, no vegetables, no corn, no plants, nothing will grow. But without humans, without the uh, homo stupidity or human ridiculous, actually, that call themselves homo sapiens, and sometimes homo universalis, or call waters of their kinds this way, humans, if they disappear, anything become better. The rainforest can uh, give it can get a chance to grow back. The seas they will cover, and the skies will clear up over time. The whales will recover. The sharks will recover. The elephants will recover because they're predators in the world. They know it's being stupid. They know how the world works. They know the three laws of equality, that the strength of an ecosystem is dependent on diversity within the ecosystem. They know that the world has a limited amount of resources. They know that there therefore is a limited amount of growth possible. And they know that all species have been interdependent on each other. They know also that there be not one organism on its own. They're trying to live in harmony with their environment. That's what all intelligence mammals do. I have a new definition of intelligence. I claim intelligence is the capacity of an organism to live in harmony with his ecosystem instead of destroying it. By this definition, indeed, you can say that even a worm is more intelligent than humans. By that definition, you can say actually even that a cockroach is even intelligent than humans. Because they're within boundaries of their species. Humans, there, they've been the ones that's not living boundaries with their environment. They've been the ones that destroy anything appropriate without natural checks. Humans, or how to say, are Marvelous curiosity. The lie in the seeds. And squirrel respect for things <laughs> when they're not be willing to give it themselves, actually. Humans are a marvelous curiosity. When they're on their very, very best, there is a kind of a low grave nickel range angel. When they're been on their worst, they've been inspicable, unbelievable, and unforgivable. But by any means, and by any day, and any seconds, they call themselves insincerity, and with absolute the most greatest, the most noblest work of God or nature. Ha ha ha! behold, they're all the smartest men. Only the individual may not a lie. Be not a discreet. And a miserable fool have nothing to be proud of for himself. Protect his own nation. All his faults, all his imperfections. In order for his own insecurity. Indeed, I've been so sick of you. Always complaining that animals are stupid and dirty. When you are the one that is stupid and dirty, why making excuses for things you also don't want that others use when you are the victim? It's unfair to ask this or something that you are not willing be to give humans. I 
I nothing can understand or want to understand why victimizers always think that they're being more special, more deserving of protection, and more superior than their victims. I mean, oh, it's so complex. Why rapists, child abusers, murderers of any kind ask for any respect? Yes. Don't ask for things you cannot get into the room. Police. If you're not only willing to give compassion, if you not been willing to give compassion to innocent beings, how have nothing harmed you ever in their whole life? How can you stand from respect from uh, us, the vegans? We are the defenders. You are the exploiters. Sorry for my words, but this actually the truth. You can do something about it. Buy nothing attentional harm or pay somebody to harm one innocent living being in the whole your whole life by going deep or you can choose to be passively evil let the stare to squad your stick be but don't feel for any respect from the freedom fighters you call, can call us radical, but so we're also called the Allied Forces to break down the cage of Burgenhaus and Nautwich and Malcolm X and even Nelson Mandela, which you may be surprised was called a radical, and even also Dr. Luther King Jr. was also called a radical in his later days. So, you know, it's a threat to be called radical. Because all revolutionary activists in their life have been once called radicals and extremists. It is only a matter which kind of side you choose. Choose you be, to be radical, cruel, or radical kind. Extreme, merciful to innocent beings, or forgivable for terrorists. I'm so complex. The people claim that it that uh, when animals be put in the slaughterhouses and be come out of it in pieces, that anybody can claim that can be done with humanity, with uh, kindness, compassion, and decency. Seems to me quite sociopathic behavior because with the humans are the victims I ask you that so you then also it can be done humane it can be done kind humans if you are not the victim don't imagine it entirely from your point of view because if you are not the victim, it become a pretty easily to mock and excuse your victims, make fun of their entire existence, let all of them stupid and dirty, see that their life doesn't matter at all, just like the Nazis have done, the slave masters, and all the elitist pricks of this whole world, to think their life is more important than the life of their victims. Peace, compassion and decency begins not by what you say, but what you do. Your actions, that's what matter. Your words, that's lip service. Opposing some atrocity somewhere else, where well, nothing can do about something, by the way, Make the world not a better place. Make your life maybe a little bit easier. Because it can give you some goodies. Maybe. 
from your family members or the people you're counting. But do nothing for the victims. That's actually only what your actions do. Since nobody can stop an atrocity. Not to have a genocide or the assassination of um, innocent people. Innocent people. Body extremists. ISIS organization. Actually, the true terrorist organization. Or the bullying and exterminate and dictatorate of the America government and their self righteous agenda to make the whole world do an oil pump to get even the smallest drop of oil from the rainforest, from the coal caps, and from any place of the world. Awaken. Stop believing people. Let me full of shit. Awake. Peace begins on the dinner table. Or what you do on a daily, on a daily basis. You can do something to stop one atrocity. You can help around your whole life to save something like uh, um, 8 billion. Uh, eight, Eight um, thousand, eight thousand land animals and sea animals, or something like that. They've been murdered for you. Awaken it. Awaken, I tell you. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always be vegan. Awaken. If you're not being even willing to spare me. For countries, how you steal, how you steal your, the, their food from, to feed it to around something 60 billion net animals. How can you call yourself human? I call you greed, I call you selfishness, I call you malice. Malice is the power that in that led you to dictate. And make you indifferent from the suffering of others. Malice is the brutal force and attention of human character that let humans do very cruel things. Malice is the ascension of evil, it is the power of commanding others to do evil. Malice used the power of others to get their desire. The power of malice. Compassion, therefore, is the exact opposite of that. Compassion is the only true form of moral condemn. In a synchronized way. Because compassion is not selfish. Because the compassionate person feels no difference from the suffering person or animal that is involved. And the barriers of the non ego and the ego being for a moment abolished. And therefore, they're two not different from each other. So it changed. All living beings can choose to be kind, compassionate, hateful. But humans choose it over than anything. If they not understand something, they all claim that the enemy is a monster. Chinese have done it with the Mongols. They call them ogres. Actually, only is actually in Japanese. But an ogre is actually the most uh, similar like an uh, ogre in character traits. I know I've said in this video many things that you may be shocked. And I understand. Humans are 
not an here good per uh, species. Humans are an easy to corrupt or allowed to corrupt by ego, by selfishness, by malice, by greed, and many other things. And therefore, somebody has to learn how he being himself, so that he don't fall on his own weak spots, so that he don't fall in his own errors, so that he can protect himself from the demon within himself, so that he can, or she can, or it can. See the wrong mistakes. I can think clearly and logically. I can't. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm? He meant. And don't think destroy the root of all forms of discrimination. By its root. By speciesism. Understand? By speciesism. Because as long as speciesism, the discrimination will species not will be eliminated. We will not find peace, happiness, or something like this on this planet. No. We not go. Picking and choosing to which to be kind or not is pure evil. Knowing that but doing the opposite is pure evil. It is the same kind of evil that the majority of slave masters has in the town of slavery, the white cis male zone. Rose. We do nothing wrong. They're all say we do just what the society expects from us. Don't blame us. Blame the system. Do what you have to see if you will, will read most so much of these books from the time of the slavery and look at it from the position of the slave. Frederick Douglass was only once, he say once. I know that I was a slave, but the point that I wanted to do something that was not permissive. He also said, my old master of most likely not think more for me than one of his stocks of his, of his pig stocks, as a broke, as a working, Hardworking animal, I was broken. To be near the uh, to be more primitive part of my existence. Can we not use our so called intelligence? Instead of research into the sky to find some intelligence life forms. Why not we try to make uh, machines where we can uh, actually detect and understand the beams of this planet? All the elephants, ways to communicate with them in a more intelligent way, stands the metal box. In the whips to let them do stupid tricks or in the wheel parks we let them stupid learn to let them do stupid things for our entertainment the slave shows of old times Sometimes black people, just like monkeys, 
in some parts of the world. I've got one object between their strokes. And then they have to dance for the wine man. And do funny tricks for the wine man. Schlank was uh, explained to Uncle Tom. To entertain them. Humans. Stop making exactly the same excuses for the things you ancestors make. And start to watch the things from the position of the victim. Humans are very capable of doing the most evil things. Because they're been always fo most of them have been focused on themselves. Humans they have to learn to think out of themselves. As Einstein once have said, human beings see themselves as something separate from the rest. Humans mean something in this in this thing that we call the universe. Human beings see themselves as something separate from the rest. An optional delusion of consciousness. This illusion is a kind of prison for us to restrict ourselves from our natural to our natural sounds and only give compassion to some close to us, family members, or our peop people of the church, or the people of our country, or our tribe, or, or of our color of skin. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison. By spreading our compassion and decency to all living beings and nature in its beauty. And stop to picking and choosing. To be kind to one, to dogs, my cats, and guinea pigs, and other animals that we choose to be kind to. And disregard and few others like inanimate objects, like pigs, like turkeys. Like rats, and in some cases, also if you've been a psychopathic hunter, elephants and rhinehorns, and whales, and other that's arrogant, human exclusionist, anthropocentrist mindset. Is what creates all of the evil on this planet. This is circle. There's one circle of oppressing. And the higher groups on the circle can only make a difference. The lower groups in the circle they have not the power to change it. But the people, spectacular in the West, they're uh, a chance to buy with their dollar or euro, euro or throne, understand? Or pound. Now purchase the most environmental friendly products to not buy for slave trade. Instead, to buy products from companies that um, treat their uh, workers nice and give them a good enough uh, payment to survive. Give them a chance. Instead, that they've been exploited. As working slaves for cheap clothing. When we when we choose right from wrong, I ask you to not make the mistakes of your ancestors and the ancestors their ancestors is to watch any form of oppressing, all forms of injustice from the position of the victim. That's how we can make the play display it. To one, uh, right. Bye.
Maybe we can recreate a Eden on Earth where animals can um, live happily with the beings that they want in their life. And where humans can watch animals from a distance with all and with open and with kindness instead with ball and arrows machine guns and weapons of mass destruction instead. peace compassion decency don't matter Nothing matters, you know, if you're vegan. Because veganism can save the most of all lives, of innocent lives, of any other choice you will ever make in your whole life. Even if you will drive no car, you will be a meat eater, a carnist, you'll still being worst for the environment as a vegan that drive a helmet and you will spare even if you've been a meat eater that only once in the month take a shower you even spare uh, more water if you've been vegan that shower uh, or of any day for 10 minutes. It costs around something like that. So much water if you uh, spare is something like um, 17 two years on water if you uh, being just one year of heat. Humans. You're not so extremely arrogant. Arrogance was the reason that um, Roman Emperor, uh, the Roman Emperor, feel Paul. Well, um, arrogance was the reason that Troy, the Troy feel Paul, well, and that's the um, they'll take the um, wooden horse into the uh, barriers and arrogance was also the reason of the uh, destroying of the um, Babylon nation arrogance selfishness and condemned the reason for actually all this greatness of all this human societies. When come the day that humans learn from their mistakes and not make them anymore, we want you humans make the same mistakes over and over till in eternity. To the door. Sadly enough, I cannot change the whole world. Even in if this video was shared worldwide. Because there have been so much people so full of um, nationalism that they refuse to see reality. Who would it be? Humans, the rainforest belongs not to you. They belong to the Billions and up to the um, thousands of the ten thousands of uh, the, uh, yes of the thousands and thousands of uh, animals and in insect species that live there and the uh, forty percent of all the uh, animals species that live there on our percent of the different kinds of animal species are there. The rainforest belongs not to humans. 
even as humans want to believe it. The rainforests that belong to the animals that live there belongs not to one naked, deceited ape with a god complex. The rainforests and all their life, with their health, all the different species of plants and animals were on, a set, on a something like 90, 99% of all the species being not uh, actually uh, good uh, studied by humans or even studied by humans. So, there's a complex um, life support system. Humans, the seas also don't belong to you. Why you want always to take more than you need? Humans, come to you humility. Live by the golden rule. Do not do others if you also don't want to protect you. And try to don't give and uh, to don't take more in your life than you give. When darkness and light become one, the reality splits in a way, and the true will become a visible. Go vegan. What's the excuse about the costing of the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always a bit vegan.